Hello, so today I wanted to talk a bit about um, rewards. Of course, rewarding our horse is a very important part of his education. And using food rewards is a common way to do that. And that has some disadvantages. Um, it can make the horse nibbly and chewy and biting. Um, apart from that, it's, um, it takes away learning opportunity. You know, while you're using a food reward, you're not, um, you're not operating on feel. The horse gets very distracted. I also think it's almost um, insulting to the horse. You know, we can educate them to really learn and use their mind and work things out. And it's not just about do that, get a reward, do that, get a reward, which is a very finite thing. You know, you can't really build on that. Whereas when you're developing feel and timing and new relationship with your horse, you can always build on that and learn more. Uh, so the best way to reward your horse, of course, is just to be genuinely happy for what he just did. You know, when you're really pleased about it from your heart and let yourself smile and really feel, oh, wow, that was good. I'm so proud of you. That's the best way. morisco has gone in behind me. <laughs> Come back, Biscuit, into the picture. You don't want to be in the film today. Aye, aye, aye. So, um, yeah, it's just something to think about. Um, you know, I had a lady recently and we were working with bending the horse. And she said, oh, yes, I do that with uh, giving a treat. I just give a treat and the horse bends his neck around. Um, so that's, like I said, taking away a learning opportunity. And, of course, the bending in that case is not about um, the neck. You know, the horse can bend his neck all the way around. He can get a fly off his side. He can scratch his back leg. It's about getting to the feet and about the feel. So that's something to keep in mind, you know. I have used treats. I do sometimes use treats. When I do, I always do it with an awareness and hope that one day I will be good enough and have the skill to get that job done without using a treat. Um, for example, I had a lovely little mare who would get completely frozen when we were riding out and she got scared of stuff. You know, she would really freeze and she was very internal she wouldn't really show what was going on but she would get so blocked and the easiest way to get around that or the only way I found to get around that was to lean down and give her a treat then her jaw would start to move and then we could get through the situation so like I said I would uh, my goal would be to be good enough not to have to use that uh, but just sometimes it's um it is, of course, very effective, but just to always do it with a bit of awareness of what's going on. Um, one of my friends recently had a problem with taking her horse in the field. Every time she was about to take the head collar off, the horse would go tanking off before she, you know, just about hardly even had the head collar off. Um, and of course, a very easy solution for that was just to give a treat. Uh, a food treat when uh, you were taking the head collar off and I think the horse learned I think we only did it once twice and the horse already learned that um, uh, <laughs> he didn't have to run off and then of course after a few days we didn't need the treat anymore we could go to just stroking and rubbing um, uh, yeah so it's just something to always keep in mind um, you know, horses like children using food rewards, it's a bit like bribery, which as you know, with children and people, it doesn't really work in the long term either. So, um, yeah, educating versus training is another part of that. So that's us for today. Come and say goodbye, Biscuit. Oh, <laughs> he's had enough. Okay, thank you.